it's ready though. Probably not, but we'll do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we're back. All right. <clears throat> It's okay. You can take damage. You have. I'm aware. We have over 100 health. Yeah, now. we have a hit point pool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, believe me, I know. <laughs> Doesn't mean I want to. That's fair. That's fair. Uh. <laughs> I can oh. knock down half of it, but I can't do all of it. What? I can knock down half the damage and get it so it can't hit us. Hmm. I have wind wall. That would. That it's a fifty foot wall. Wind. Wind wall. Yeah, I know. You said it's a fifty foot wall. Of wind. Of wind. Yes, that's exactly what I just said. Sitting at an angle would blow the darts away, right? Do you, get to draw, do you get to uh, I can place the wall in it. I can place like, it in any direction. Be, no, it does not. Is it it is a 50-foot long, 15-foot high, 1-foot thick wall. So you place it like that One and foot make thick. every wall. Yes. And make it all go like that. Oh, I see. So this much air blowing back against darts. That would change their trajectory completely. So you would turn it. So it's at an angle, so it would push them away. Okay. But that would only take care of half of it. That's true. Okay. It would reduce the first roll probably down to like a 25% chance of getting hit due, due to the deflection. Um, which is good. <laughs> Definitely a significant reduction. But... Uh, how many roll. times do I have to roll between beginning of the hall and end of the hall? It's 100 feet. So if you double move twice, then two. How much damage are we going to take total? If I hit a hit D10 twice. per dart. No, I yeah, fuck, I'm just going to end in the hall. Yeah, we'll take our chances. I just got to end in the hall. Oh yeah. shit, I'll, I can heal up this one big deal. Roll them bar, serendipity. Six. 93. <laughs> okay. 27. 20. Okay. Uh, 2. 2 damage. 2 damage. 2 damages. Alright, 6 and 20. Well, actually, give me a deck saving throw. Okay. A deck saving throw? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah. 11. It, it could have been reduced to 1. So, Eli went down the hall. Cool. Roll two serendipity. Two serendipities. First one. <clears throat> 81. You took damage. Okay. Really? Yeah. That's a high number. Yeah, but you want to roll one. You want to roll low. Right oh, so I wish I was told I want to roll low. Well. That's not going to change how you roll. What fucking right? difference does that make? My intuition and my feelings and my emotions. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're saying it, but all I hear is bullshit, 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 bullshit. 42. Second. Okay, so you don't get hit the second time, but you can't make a dex uh, saving throw. You do make a yes, make a dex saving throw for the first hit. We'll see if we can reduce it down to two or one. Actually, did you roll one? No, no it's a seven plus okay. five. No. Thirteen. Is okay, 13. so uh, three damage. Three, three piercing damage. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Here's what we have. I'll actually read these out to you if you want to make a little list. <clears throat> West Wall. This is the kind of order in which these things are appearing. Okay. These are the uh, color and location of the orbs that are being held 
by the painted figures. From the west wall, and this is uh, from north to south, so kind of heading down, kind of like the list is, so it works out well. Uh, gold held high overhead. Second one is orange, held waist high. The third, I guess, uh, thing on the, it, it looks like a door. There appears to be a door there. Uh, then purple at feet. Dave, you're writing this down. Another door. Wait, and this is all in one chamber? On one yeah. wall. This chamber is 20 feet wide by 130 feet. Oh, wide. Uh, okay. So the west wall of this 130 feet this is all has the west wall. sequence. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you guys have purple and then the door. Yep. Uh, let's see, bronze. Door then purple is what you said. No. It's door, purple door. Yeah. Oh, there's no yeah. door. Okay. So bronze at? Uh, waist. Waist height. Bronze? What is the bronze? I have gold, orange, door, purple, door. Shut up. And then bronze. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> held waist high. I'm going down the list. All right. Gray, held at shoulder height. The next one is of a figure with no orb. Where are his hands? Uh, relevant. Oh. So, the orb is just floating in front of him, or is the, no, or are they no, holding it? There's no orb. Of all the other ones, are they holding oh, the yes. orb in their hands? Yes. yes. The okay. other one they are holding. It. So the other one is his hands are at his, at his side, I guess. Right. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Wait. Uh, so a figure with no orb. Right. Then we have bright blue. That's at feet. <clears throat> White held high overhead. Turquoise held at shoulder. Scarlet held waist high. And then pale green at feet. That's the west wall. The east wall is also relevant. Oh my god. All right. That's too many from I'm one wall. With, it's 130 feet long. I'm ready when you are. Super long. Okay. Pale blue shoulder. Silver feet. Uh, the other, like the door, the, the third area is where you guys came in. Okay, us. Yeah. <clears throat> Green high overhead. Yellow shoulder. Which uh, uh, east? Okay. Yeah. Uh, pink high overhead. Black at feet. Pale violet at shoulder. We've got another nun. No uh, so on empty. Yep, empty. <coughs> uh, red waist high. None 
and then indigo. Is it, it there's a figure there with nothing on it? Right. Okay. And then um, indigo held high overhead. Leas, as you enter this area, you specifically. Yeah. You hear a little click on the uh, collar that you found. Yeah. And a secret compartment opens. Cool. Revealing a parchment, a slip of parchment, upon which is written some kind of magical code scrawl. Okay. Uh, that you cannot read. I, yeah, I can't read it. Unless you have comprehend languages. Nope. What's the language on the collar? Or the thing? And I so don't recognize it. It's a magical code. Um, Does anyone have comprehend language? Nope, never. Uh, I'm a attacker. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if like is it not like any known language at all? No. You, you need to but, just be able to. But comprehend comprehend I know languages. like you know, two thirds of them at this point, but <laughs> kind of like a warlock allows you to read everything. Yep. Yeah. Ow. Okay. I mean, I have a lot of languages, so. Which which ones do you speak slash read? Uh, common, Infernal, Orc, Elvish, Draconic, Undercommon, and Sylvan. Is it Halfling? It's not. <laughs> it's not, it's not in Halfling. I was thinking about getting the Ritual uh, feat, but I didn't. Because it's mm. not real languages. I speak all languages, so. Well, you may not Sylvan. Um, that's the, that's no, the I speak of the Orc fae. instead. Yeah, that's the, that's, the, that's the language of the Fae. Yeah, I speak Orc instead. Yeah, you know? You probably. I will. Shut up, Dave. Let's see. I will. Uh, let's say that you can. So you read Abyssal. Yes. Uh, I read Undercommon, not Abyssal. Okay. I read Abyssal. Oh. You can read Abyssal. Okay. We'll say that you can read it, since none of you have any way of actually reading it in any other way. Convenient. Uh. Yeah. <sighs> Okay. Here we go. Look low and high for gold. To hear a tale untold. Take the archway at the end, and on your way you'll wend. Spell wind. W E N D. Thank you. And beneath this, there is an initial A inscribed. Capital? Capital A. And Take the archway at the end, and beneath this you will wend. Wind. And on your way you will wend. wend. Take the archway at the end, and on your way you will wend. What the fuck does wind mean? It is a, uh... In a specific direction, typically slowly or by an indirect route. I was about to say, it's meandering. So it's meandering? Okay. Sin, synonymous. Actually, yeah, the synonym is meander. Yeah. But I have no fucking idea what... Well, there Something was, about there's, up or down in gold? There, there's only... There's no colors were repeated. There's only so one where is gold, gold at? orb. Where is gold at? Uh, it would be to our right, uh, short ways. Uh, it, the where? first one he described on the eastern wall is a gold orb overhead. Uh, so as we turn into our right, at the end, there's, which is the end we're near. Um, hey. let me visualize this for you. Is that little black star? That's where we walked in. This is a long hallway. And Does anybody gold, have this actually written now where I can read it and not look across the table? Let me see. About the, I have, so, <laughs> notes we walked right in where that star is. Not the top left notes, one is a gold orb above a head. Overhead. Whatever. Uh, but Jesus, looking, you're I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just bad, dude. I was, um, re I was writing as fast as he was reading it, alright? You should read mine. I've seen yours, too. That's pretty heinous. I can produce pretty calligraphy, but I was writing as fast as he was reading. Uh, Alright, I can't even... Can you read the note, the first line of the note again out loud? Yes. Look 
high. Uh, look, look low and high for gold. He said low first. Yeah. Uh, there's a bronze at the waist. What's at the feet? Look there's low a- and high for gold to hear a tale untold. Take the archway at the end, and on your way you'll win. Signed, A. Or it's just an initial A. There's no actual A. It's, it's so take sign. the arch at the end, on your way you'll win, which means we need to go... That's after we find which is the right door. Uh, well, there's only one other door in the room. No, there's two. There's two doors in the room, aside from the one we walked into. One's directly across the hall from us. The next is, like, just to the left of it. Um, it says look low and Empire. high. If that low counts for anything, silver is at feet. Uh, black is at feet. Uh, buff is at feet. Whatever buff means. Uh, pale green. <laughs> I um, have no idea. It's some kind of orange looking And color. purple. So it's, it's like a yellowy orange looking color. So it's like a. Yellowy I got, I got orange. nothing. That's it's just yellowy gold. orange. It's weird. Yeah. It's gold bad. is a yellowy orange. So as as that's the, the only three that are low. Here. What? The only three that are low are I silver. I really have no idea. Uh, silver, <laughs> black, purple, and buff. Silver, black, purple, and yellow orange. Yeah. I'm not no, calling those it buff. We're going to call it level. yellow orange. Those are like at feet. What There's some high? waist. I don't care about the waist, um, it don't matter. Up at high, overhead, gold. No, no, no. Gold. Hold on. Uh, gold, white. Okay. Indigo, pink, green. Look low, then high. Look low and high for gold. Hear a tale untold. Take the arch at the end. On your way, you will end. So, on our way to hearing this tale from finding gold, we're going to have to meander from left to right. Or around and about. I got nothing. Yeah, I have no idea. No. Um, so, I'm going to ask Rand to investigate the how like how trapped is the floor the wall and this room Rand's going to get a 23 at the minimum for investigation uh, I'm asking Rand to like come with me at, towards the gold orb guy okay. which is short ways to our right, right. and uh, investigate that gold orb thing Assuming there's no traps between where we walked in and there. I'm just looking reading ahead. Just looking ahead. Okay, cool. Uh, so you and Rand go to the gold mm-hmm. illusion. The gold thingy. The gold orb that's held overhead. That is an illusion that leads into. A little five foot hallway. Kind of goes 20 feet in and then turns away. Uh, it looks to be f- just like rough hewn stone. Nothing like no magical runes or anything on it. No holes for darts or anything like that. So basically, uh, it just appears to be a hallway. There's a painted statue in front of the wall, but in fact, it's, it's just an open it's, arch. It's fake. Yeah, it's just it an is, open arch it's, in reality. It's, it's an illusion. And as yeah. soon as I like get up to it and my hand goes through it, I see through the illusion. I see it's yeah. just an open archway. Exactly. Guys, it's an illusion. Um, Do we just brute force this? Is that what just happened? Okay. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Uh, so you see the hallway. Yeah. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I would ask Rand to investigate for more traps along the hallway and uh, look around that corner. Just, just using his call ten thing. There are no traps. Yeah. There are no visible traps. Yeah. Uh, or anything like that. What happens when I walk through the 
No. Uh, then? You come into a small room. Yeah. And you get to the end of that little hallway. The small room holds what appears to be a statue of a gargoyle. Enough? Eight feet tall. With digger. Four arms. Ooh. One of the arms is broken off and lies on the floor in front of the statue. Pleasant. Um. Let's see. Oh, I gotcha. Let's see. A couple of interesting things, right? Because I would imagine seeing this. Well, just you, seeing a statue, first off, first I'm going to stop and, like, like, whoa, not go in there. Okay. Because right. I already saw one gargoyle. This yeah. is another gargoyle, yeah. Nothing. It does, it does nothing. It stays. It you know, doesn't budge. Yeah. yeah. Um, when you, like, do you move closer to it to investigate? I want to ask if Randall accompanied me to this room. So, all right, so, I, oh, you went to the bathroom. Yes. Um, this is the long hallway with all the statues along it, all right? We came well, in this it's door. It's painted on the wall. Well, all right, so it's a long hallway with these figures painted on the wall and a glowing orb in front of them at different places. We came in yeah. this door. The riddle suggested a gold orb. This one up here is the only one with gold orb in front of it. So you and I walked a short ways up the hall to investigate it, and I figured out it's an illusion. It's just an open archway. Okay. And then we looked in. You, based off your 23 minimum, and there's, there's no trap right there. The... Okay. And then it's a short hallway with a turn, I'm guessing to the right, uh, uh, and a small right. room. You're correct, yes. And a small room, and in it is a gargoyle, and it has three... Okay, it had four arms on it. But one is broken. But one of them is broken off and is lying on the floor. And when, when I came around the corner, it didn't move. And then I froze. Asking okay. you to proceed with me. Rand has his crossbow loaded and <laughs> aimed at Rand. it because we've already <laughs> ran into Gurgle. Uh -huh. so. <laughs> it's zeroed in on the... But he does like, step your... into the room invest, like, to looking investigate. Looking around as he goes. But he's Look also consistently keeping his crossbow aimed like, at the Gurgle. Ready. At yeah. the ready. So you want to make a trap investigation check? I don't know what yeah, I need to make. Uh, give me a D20. Maybe investigation. Investigation. It's plus 13. It's freaking ridiculous. And uh, it's a minimum wait, of 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so 10 20 23. <laughs> awesome. Okay. We're just making sure it's not on 30 is basically what we're doing. You, because you have the, the collar out that has yeah. the 10 gemstones on it. Each of the hands that are not, are like, that are attached still mm -hmm. to this gargoyle, has a, in the palm of each hand, there are depressions whereby the stones on that collar, on the collar will fit perfectly. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference in the, well, he has a Yeah, are there, are all the stones uniform? They're all the same, yes, the same size, shape, and cut, and everything. Yeah. Okay. So there are uniform stones. Yep. And there's ten of them on this collar. Three arms here. Mm -hmm. Uh, if I, like, on the collar, do they pop off? Do you grab one? Yes. <coughs> they, uh, they can be removed freely. Gosh. Hundred gold. Um of the four arms, two up high, two up down low, which one's broken off? That would be okay, so that's a fair question. Upper left or lower left? Upper uh, right, lower when right. you're facing it, yeah. it's upper left. So it would be so it's, it's, it's upper it's right, right hand. Yeah. Lower hand, I think I should trap at one of these little rocks in this lower right hand. What do you say? I am going to keep my crossbow on this while well, you do that, but that is a good idea. My I... spells are as ready as they can be, and I'll put a rock in his lower right hand. And like I said, he's still keeping his... He doesn't trust 
statues anymore. <laughs> yeah, no shit. What happens when I put a like? Okay, so you should really keep in. a list of the things yep. Rand doesn't trust anymore. It's <laughs> scorps, put one in yeah. spiders, everything. Okay. All right, we'll be right back with more puzzle solving. I like it. All right, see ya.